Happy uh, Happy New Year, everybody. We're back. What up, Duke? Yo, what up, Duke? Hey, yo. Okay, y'all thought you were watching that goofy ass, hipster ass, broke ass, whack ass, girls ass, Hamilton ass, head ass, dead ass, hipster show, the El Chapo Trapped House. Hell no, Duke. This is the Red Kahina and Michael Rappaport podcast, yo. Kropo, Kapo Bieberkopf, their whole <laughs> shit is whack. Their whole game is chested. Dead ass for a grandma, though. <laughs> Our 2016, whole style was chunk. Was chunk. 2016, 2017, Duke. Yo, that's that real shit. Yo, speak on it. Speak on it. Um, Yeah, that's a... Uh, it's a little taste of uh, we we took the we took a week and a half off or so for the new year. Now we're back. It's our first episode of 2017. It's also I'd like to note episode 69. Hell yeah! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Hell yeah, dude. Yo yo, I just want yo yo right now yo for real player. I'm trying to introduce a man, a main boy, my Duke, my heart. We go back. Yo, that boy James Adomian sitting in episode sixty nine. What up, dude? <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> Hello, James. James is back in the trap, everybody. Uh, yeah, I just came back to score some sweet pod. <laughs> <laughs> We're now on the other side of a new year. A new uh, year, and last time I saw you guys, it was before um, an avalanche of press. From people who were outraged that this exists. We refer to that as the pre-TV, pre-couch era. Yeah. (laughs) The moment they started writing articles about uh, me calling Clinton activists mentally ill, uh, that was like the Lufthansa heist. That was the worst thing. (laughs) (laughs) We have two couches. I did notice that Chapo guys have been... Turning up dead here and there. That's a different piano song. It took him three weeks to peel him from his gaming rig. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody started getting whacked when Chapo went down. <laughs> Yo, when that Atlantic article came out. Yeah, you heard that though? That was um some corny whack ass motherfuckers laughing at their own joke, Duke. Yo. Hey, yo, do that. that yeah, their whole, whole style is chump. Uh, in case you hadn't realized, uh, we're making reference to uh, one of the better things that happened to the show. Probably the best press coverage we've gotten all year to round out the very, very end of the year. Our uh, our beef with um, the character actor Michael Rappaport <laughs> and, his, and his podcast, <laughs> I Am Michael Rappaport. We finally have the enemies we deserve. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Yeah. I love Wait, it. What is Michael Rappaport? Michael Rappaport, oh. okay. Let, let's let's narrate this whole saga for James now. Uh, Michael Rappaport is a character actor. You have seen him in every movie. Yeah. Like, he's been around for a long time. We were just going through his, like, credits on IMDb, and he's been in everything, right? Uh, you may remember him as uh, Clarence's friend in True Romance, who had Brad Pitt as his stoner roommate. You may remember him from the TV show Boston Public, he was in a couple Spike Lee movies. Two boys in Boston. Yeah. Oh, the best father sitcom ever, The War at Home. Isn't he you, currently on that? No, that show went off the air oh, okay. like, during the Bush presidency. <laughs> no, but I feel like 90% of the time when there's like an Irish bartender, he is that Irish bartender. Even though he's not Irish, he's Jewish, which yeah. means he's stealing valor, even though like... <laughs> Eighty percent of his career is him saying, "Don't do it, Sean. It's not worth it, Sean." <laughs> <laughs> hey, Duke, you're stealing valor from the first slaves in America. <laughs> you was you was slaves when they was building them pyramids. This is a guy when you encounter in real life, you finish your beer and go to the next room. Okay, so we were we've been we were making fun of his friend Eli Lake. He found out about it, and then like I guess they decided to do a show about it. But like the funniest thing is, and you heard in that clip. Is that he accuses us of uh, appropriating hip hop slang and culture in a way that's corny, Duke? It's yo, corny. Yeah, we do be like that, though. <laughs> fuck the hipster fucks and fuck yeah. the political correct fuckboys and their skinny jeans, their coffee breath, and the newspapers under their stinky ass armpits. That's like armpits. some kind of shitty talk radio. Yeah. Uh... Yes. Um, I love it. <laughs> I, I, really I also noticed that the, the, these, these crackers, <laughs> 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 they, they, they try to affect. Um, 
hip hop slang, but in a hipster way. <laughs> Dead ass. Like, I hate like, it when I, I people do that. that. They, like they try to How snap, but this? they like try to do it like you know, like like. But it's it's all corny. Like the whole style is chump. <laughs> <laughs> it gets funnier every time I hear. The whole time time thing is chump. And what I love about that is, if you now listen to the uh, Michael Rappaport podcast, um, he sounds like someone with brain damage trying to impersonate a skit on a rap album, circa 1992. <laughs> is basically that, like that, like that's his style. Or he sounds like m- most morning radio guys. Hey, man. Okay, y'all. Before I begin the show. The post office, their whole style is jump. Get your ass to stamps.com. Aaron, tell them how depressed you is. I should say. Yeah, man, you're on your own. I don't know. I think. I, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, shit. Was it trap? What is it? Why is the trap house? I don't get it. <laughs> Why you can't leave? What do you do? Who are your guys? Who are your guys? <laughs> <laughs> I should say that uh, unlike Marin, I actually do like Michael Rapper. <laughs> No, I d- I'm always pleased every time I see him in a movie. It's like, okay, we're about to get some charming character work. Now, wait, was he in the uh, Whitey Bulger movie? or was? I don't think he was. He, he seems like he was. That's all. He seems all. like he should have been. He was haunting that yeah. movie. <laughs> yeah. Yo, let me in this shit, dude. <laughs> so uh, get it, getting roasted by him was um, really fun. And I, I, like I said, I thought it was my, our, our best media hit this year was um, just getting on Michael Rappaport's radar. And hopefully in 2017, we can uh, start a few more vendettas against character actors. Yeah, who, who else is out there? Um, William H. Macy? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Yo, fuck I, him, he's I, going down. I think your language is inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> but just like, I, what I think is interesting about Rappaport's show is like, dude, like he, like he, like I said, he's like a hip hop dude. He directed a documentary on a tribe called Quest, apparently. And apparently they hate him now because <laughs> of that. But, um,. That rule. I just think it's funny because okay, like yo, action. <laughs> <laughs> but like Eli yo, Lake Quest, yeah. <laughs> Cut on that shit. <laughs> what is the Porky Pig shit he's doing? I just think it's funny because like Eli Lake is like his, I guess his like call in foreign policy correspondent. But like it's clear if you like listen to the whole show, like Rap Report doesn't really understand like politics or like issues or things like that like if you if he goes it goes on and he's like after he gets done talking about us he's like yo yo eli though i want you to break down for me though yo what's up with israel and the obama administration because yo i don't understand all that shit i don't know all the terms (laughs) break it out in in layman's terms hey yo my man eli told me that the shia crescent is forming (laughs) Yo, the Caliph Ali was a straight buster. <laughs> Omar. But I think it's funny because, like, he has this podcast and, like, he's like, the, he has the perfect, like, morning radio show guy personality. But, like, he has this podcast. So, like, I think his fan base are all, like, middle aged white guys, like him and Eli Lake, who, like, really love, like, 90s hip hop. But also voted for Donald Trump and uh, support the police and shit like that. Yeah. Uh, is There's Eli like, Lake a Trump guy? No, no. He's, I don't know if Eli Lake is a Trump guy. No, he's not. He's a McMullen guy. Yeah. Oh, the true heroes. Yeah. The heroes of the Republic. Well, this well whole, I, saw, yeah. I, I, told, I saw the video of him literally making like a dash cam video of him rapping while his son is Rap. just nodding along. Not yeah, in a Rappaport. Yeah. Uh, and his son, by the way, looks like a smaller, <laughs> uglier Michael Rappaport. <laughs> And That's it's in tragic. black and white. I was you know, hoping it was Evan McMullen. But I looked at the I looked at the uh, comments, and there was literally a guy whose avatar was a fighting Irishman. <laughs> Which is like, you're crazy for this one. Like, if it's like, yeah, no, it's his, just... his profile was written in the Gaelic letters at a bar in New York. <laughs> No, but they're like, that's his fan base. All stand for the Irish national anthem. Jump around. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like you know, middle-aged white guys. Maybe they have the Irish flag rippling on their neck, but uh, definitely they all wear exclusively sports team gear, like on the weekend, or if they mm-hmm. don't have to go to the office, they're rocking a fitted Yankee hat, a uh, Knicks jersey, and like. They're angrily calling in Mike Francesca's show when they're not talking they're to Because you got to go through life caring about that kind of worthless bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> or you might have to question your place in this world. 